long. <clears throat> um, so anyway. Yes, trying to test I've heard that before. Someplace. I dream it. Um, so, uh, uh, many years ago, a 14 year old fella drank three warm low brows, threw up in the parking lot of, uh, of Cal Pal, San Francisco, and then proceeded to see one of the greatest shows, well, the only show he'd ever seen in his entire life at that point, which was uh, Rush performing uh, Hemispheres. Changed my life, got me, you know, to play the old uh, four-string hunk of furniture, uh, inspired me. Uh, Getty had a bass just like this, black brick with white pickguard, and I wanted one uh, so bad, and I had no money, and my friend uh, Bill Peterson was there, and he had one just like it. He's like, that's just like mine, that's just like mine. I don't think that that's sick. But, um, so now I've got one. Check it out. <laughs> Took me a lot of years, but I've got the black brick. Um, so anyway, so I, I, I you know, I, I did a lot, I saw a lot of Rush shows back in the day, and uh, this next song uh, is a very big part of the Rush shows, and, and a lot of audience participation, so back in the day it was lighters, you know, now they got cell phones, so if you hold up whatever you want, that would be amazing, because then I could relive my childhood, and then sing along so that I can, uh, you know, uh, have some support in my attempt to sing these, 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 these Getty Stratosphere uh, vocal parts, but... Uh, also, you know, it's just, uh, you know, Neil was an amazing percussionist drummer, obviously, but he was also... Uh, he wrote some very uh, uh, poignant and relevant lyrics, and it wasn't until we were delving into this that I realized how poignant and relevant. So listen to the words. You probably already know the words if you're a Rush fan. Well, you, if you don't know the words and you're a Rush fan, then fuck you. <laughs> Something's wrong. Uh, but yeah, sing along. Uh, and let's live these words, because they're good words. Start 